Good morning and welcome to my backgammon channel. Today we're going to look at the cool concept of freezing checkers. A concept that you can use over the board to frustrate your opponent and in the words of Celine Dion, make him think twice about making the right decision. So what do we mean by freezing checkers? Well, you position your lone checkers six or fewer spaces in front of your opponent's stripped points so that he cannot use his checkers efficiently to make new points. Now, by doing so, by making a new point, he would have to break the frozen point and be exposing himself to be hit back in return to set him much further back in the race. Now, we're going to look at a few positions to illustrate this concept and hopefully by the end of this short lesson you'll have a better understanding and be able to use this yourself over the board. So let's get started. So in this position white has won the opening roll of 6-1 and made the bar point and green has rolled a 2-1 in reply. Green has split the back checkers and played one down from the mid. Now by splitting the back checkers Green has frozen White's anchor on the eight point. That's because it is a stripped point and there are only two checkers on it. So if White wanted to use a checker off the eight point to make an inner board point, he would be leaving a blot for Green to shoot at. Now, you can see on the right the difference between making the moves. So making the three point is a big blunder. Making the four point, even though it's the second best point on the board, is an error. And only making the five point with the three one is correct, just because it's the best point to make. And the sacrifice is, is worth it. But you can see here the value of green's blot on the 23 freezing white checkers on the eight point. Now also white two checkers on the bar are also frozen and he can't play something like 2-1 to make the five point or 2-3 to make the four point because again he would be stripping that point down to one blot and then be open to attack. Let's look at some more positions. So here White has won the opening roll of a 4-2 and Green has again split the back checkers to freeze White's 8 point. Here, again making the 5 point is correct for White to have the 3 point prime, but making a 5-3 is a blunder and making the 6-1 bar point is an error. So it will be obviously different if White had 3 checkers on the 8 point because then it would no longer be frozen and he would have a spare to make the three point or the bar point. This is why we often talk about the value of having builders, having extra checkers to create more flexibility in our decision making. Now, when we look at a comparison here, we can see the difference of having an extra builder and the point not being frozen. So on the left, 4-2, it's too risky to make the 4 point because the 8 point is frozen. So it's simply better to play two checkers up from 24. Making the 4 point in that scenario and stripping the 8 point further so a blot is there to shoot at is not even in the top moves. So it's a big mistake to do that. In the position on the right, because white's point isn't frozen, it's better to make the 4-2 to extend the prime. So there, it's clearly the right move on the right to make the four point, whereas on the left, making the four point is a mistake. Here you can see the value of freezing the points 
by green splitting, it's preventing white making points in the home board. Also, if green was on roll, you could decide when to split looking at your opponent's builders and whether or not you're freezing his points. So in the position on the left, green has split with the two, 24 to 22. And that's because white's eight point and seven point are frozen. So you can see that the three best moves on the position on the left are all splitting plays. Now on the right, because white has a spare on the eight point, a spare checker, and green is no longer freezing the points, it's much better for green to play 13, 11, 6, 5. And splitting instead would actually be a small error. So on the left, by splitting, you are forcing white to break the point, to break the frozen point. So that is a value in the position of splitting. However, on the right, because white has a spare, it's no longer frozen and he could still make the points and also keep his structure. So there it's a mistake to split. So again, always useful to look at comparisons when coming to a decision. And finally, this is a variation on the concept of freezing checkers. So when you see that your opponent has two checkers on the midpoint, then it's a good idea to jump out in front of it because effectively by green playing 6-3 into the outfield, he is freezing white checkers on the midpoint. So if white were to hit, then he would be leaving himself open to getting hit back with certain shots. So usually when you're thinking about freezing plays, they can occur in different places on the board. Usually they are more common with the eight point as I showed you in the previous examples. But here you can see it's also effective jumping in front of a mid with two checkers on and forcing your opponent into a difficult choice where he can hit you, but hitting comes at a sacrifice and he breaks the point for you to get a number of returns. So there we are. I hope you have some understanding of when to freeze checkers, when not to freeze checkers, the value of the eight point, and you can use this over the board. And good luck in your future games. See you next lesson.